anything that you ever see done, whether it is abstract or physical, anything that is created began with an idea. Somebody thought about it. The human mind is the seat of his creativity. That is where all of his ideas originate from. His mind is informed by his worldview. His worldviews are largely informed, unfortunately, by his religion. But ideas build what we see. Nigeria is an idea, a very bad idea, a very, 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 very bad idea. It was a possession of a British company several parts of it. And then the British, because of the idea of colonialism, which is about extraction of the value of the land that has been colonized, formed the idea of a Nigerian colony. So the idea of Nigeria began with the idea of exploitation, expropriation of the people's wealth, it formed and began originally with slavery. It was not benign. There was nothing benign about the idea of Nigeria. So as an idea, Nigeria was an evil idea. It began with the idea of dominion of one man over other men. We are not citizens. They call us citizens, yes. But we're not citizens. You cannot have citizenship in a place where the law does not rule. It requires the rule of law, which guarantees equal rights to everybody, equal access to justice, equal treatment under the law. That is the only time when you can have citizens in a space. In the Nigerian space, the reality is that the law does not rule. And at its most basic level, the right of the citizen is the right to vote. That is the most practical demonstration of citizenship. The right to vote, the sovereignty of your will. It is the collective sovereignty of the people that should be expressed at the ballot and that should be reflected in high offices. If we had forgotten what took place in February and March, what is taking place as we speak should be graphic enough to let you understand and grasp very clearly that the one thing you are not is a citizen. What is the idea behind the Nigerian state? Because I want to talk about the idea of citizenship. For every thesis, there must be an antithesis. Let's be clear about something. You cannot defeat an evil idea by reactions to that idea. You can only ever defeat an evil idea by presenting superior arguments and ideas. That is the only way you defeat evil ideas. So I said to myself, what is the idea underpinning Nigeria because when you build anything that you build, you build with the intention guiding your choices. If those who are said to be the rulers are constantly kept in style, if the law applies to some and it does not apply to certain people, if this uneven treatment is the constant thing in that space. It struck me, and I've said it on multiple occasions, what we have today in Nigeria is a feudal system. Feudality is not accommodating of citizenship because it is also incapable of tolerating the rule of law. If it wasn't about feudalism, 
Why is Sirica not in a jail cell somewhere? Why do you think they would let what has happened happen where the state has become completely subverted? It is because some people must be protected. Those people who must be protected make sure that those who are coming after them are people who are just as objectionable as they are simply because they do not want to be accountable to anybody. That is why today you do not have an identity of whom the Nigerian is. Everybody is busy trying to carve their ethnic kingdoms. The conscious persons agitating for change. It is easier to focus on Biafra, Odua Republic, um, all kind of republics. And that is fair enough. These are reactions to the manifest evil that are in our space. I understand. And I'm not knocking these secessionist cause. I'm not knocking them. They are rooted in genuine grievances. But there is something I would, I've said it multiple times, and I'm going to say it again. The only way to break Nigeria, if you must break Nigeria, is to first of all establish the right of citizenship for those who are Nigerians, trapped as victims of Nigeria. You would ask me how we've tried voting so that we might restructure. But I assure you that before we ever went to the poll, before there was a Peter B, I told you that somebody would emerge, we would follow, the system would kick, and we would be thwarted all the way to the Supreme Court. The existing legal order is dead. They reinforced it for you in Imo and Ogi. Imo is probably the most brazen of the lot. They reinforced it for you. What they are telling you is that your votes do not count. Once whoever is at the apex of the mafia running the criminal entity that Nigeria has become, and it's not about Tinubu. It is not, Tinubu is not an octopus. If you, he is probably at the weakest he has ever been in his political life and political career, and it's not about anything but the fact that age happens to the best of us. I'll become old and frail one day. How much exactly can a man in his 80s do? But it's a system. If you remove Yakubu from my neck today, that's why I'm not going to, that's why I'm not shouting remove Yakubu. What if they remove Yakubu and they bring Yadudu or they bring Dudu back, Dudu back or whatever they care to bring? What's that going to change? Nothing. If the system that has created INEC does not change. And that system is found on the idea of feudalism. If it does not change, nothing changes. Nothing. So you all need to get to the point where you understand that the way forward is that demand for citizenship, which now demands for a different way of doing things. The Nigerian is not a citizen at best. We are victims of the Nigerian state. If we must be free, it will be because we come to the understanding that the more divided we are, the less likely that we will ever be free. Today in Nigeria, there are more Yorubas than Nigerians. There are more Liverpool supporters than Nigerians. There are more Biafrans than Nigerians. There are more Christians more Muslims, the one thing we all aren't, are Nigerians, and yet we are all victims of Nigeria. The sooner that we come to the idea of citizenship and understand very clearly that even if we are seeking to break up this evil Ejima, it will be because we all fought collectively as one to win it back from those whose idea, whose evil idea it originally is. Until that time, none of us, none, not one of us can be free. And there can be Voltrons. Anyone playing Voltron is simply wasting time. Until the collective rises, individuals who might rise will merely be cut down like chicken. The system is that brutal. It is designed to kill. You understand me? You won't be saved bound together as one. Understand the commonalities of your afflictions. Stop wasting your energies and strength on the divisions. 
bound together as one. Let in city when you have citizenship, one is unrecognizable from the other because one at the same. That is the point of your freedom, where one is the same as the other. That was what you threatened at Lekki Toll Gate. That was why the system had to kill. And that's why they had to deny. You became citizens. You dared to become citizens during answers. Dear again. Religion didn't matter during answers. Ethnicity didn't matter during answers. That was what scared them. You threatened to become citizens. Dare. Dare to become citizens again. That was what you did in supporting Peter Obi across the length and breadth of Nigeria. You dared to act as citizens. That was what scared the system into the brazenness of the electoral theft, the brazenness of the judicial shame. It was because you dared to be citizens. Every time you dare to be citizens, Nigeria scatters everything because they are scared of what you are able to do. It's not just those in Nigeria that are scared of what you can do if you become citizens. The world is scared of what you can do if you become citizens. If you become citizens, you act in concert. Your energies are synergized. And don't be expecting that a majority will do this. It's always taking the conscious minority to take a people to the promised land. A minority. The bulk of Nigerians have been stupefied by weaponized poverty and weaponized ignorance. Not many of you can even begin to understand what I'm trying to explain to you. So those of you who understand, throw away the petty bakery. I know I don't, I'm not everybody, I'm not to everybody's taste. I rub off a whole heap of you, piss you off, I like that. Hold on to the key ideas. If we are not all freed, we can be individually free.